If your ideal day in the Swiss Alps includes impressive mountain views, charming villages, tasty Swiss food, and panoramic hikes, then this is the best one day itinerary for you. Hey, we're Janet and Brett, and we help you travel Switzerland with confidence. And today we're gonna show you the best things to do near Murren, Switzerland. We've planned this as a one day guide, but if you wanna slow down and have a more relaxed pace, you could definitely spend an entire weekend on these activities. So here's how to spend an awesome day near Murren. Your morning begins bright and early on the first lift of the Schulthorn. I know, you're on vacation and you probably want to sleep in, but getting up early guarantees usually clear skies and less crowds. Before you head up, check the weather and the webcam on the Schulthorn website or in the Murren station. If you're coming from Latterbrunnen, the best way to reach the Schilthorn is to ride the Schilthorn cable car up from Stechelberg to Gimmelwald to Murren. And if you're already in Murren, you can hop on here. The ride continues to Beard and then one more stop to the Schilthorn. Once you reach the top, you're going to have a view of more than 200 alpine peaks, including the three main ones, the Jungfrau, the Monk, and the Eiger. And supposedly on a clear day like today, you can see all the way to the Mont Blanc in France and to the Black Forest in Germany. You may also notice a giant pile of snow on the hills behind you. You can supposedly touch snow 365 days a year here, but we haven't found where you can do that yet. But there's way more to do up here than just admire the views. Take an hour to enjoy all the activities, which, by the way, are free, or, well, included in the cost of your ticket, except for the restaurants and shopping. In our opinion, the coolest thing about the Schildhorn is the Piz Gloria Revolving Restaurant. Every 45 minutes, it makes one complete rotation, meaning you can enjoy 360 degree views from the comfort of your own table. The James Bond brunch happens daily until 2 p.m. And if you're following our itinerary, then make a reservation for 9 a.m. With a huge spread of breads and meats and cheeses and a whole lot more, you are sure to fill up. After you've filled up on breakfast and views, take the cable car down to Beard for your next activity. You might just be assuming that Beard is a random stop between the Schilthorn and Murren, but it's actually worth a visit, unless you're afraid of heights. Take an exhilarating walk along the side of a cliff on the Birg Throw Walk. You'll have a chance to trapeze across a line, walk along a glass walkway, and even crawl through an open air tunnel. If this is too scary for you, don't worry. There are bypasses for most of the tough elements, but try to take some courage and do these things anyways. You might just have an exhilarating experience. <laughs> Once you get your adrenaline out of the way, head back up to Birg and catch the next lift down to Marin. But before you do that, you might want to consider these two optional hikes if you're more active or have more time in Murren. First, you can hike a 2.6 kilometer round trip trail from Birg to Grauzeli, a stunning little lake with incredible views. If you choose not to eat up at the Schilthorn, this makes for an amazing picnic spot. Plan about an hour of hiking time plus 15 to 30 minutes to enjoy the views. Then take the lift from Birg back down to Murren. Or, as another optional activity, you can hike to Grauzeli and then across to the Wasseneg Ridge and all the way down to Murren or Gimmelwald. Expect this hike to take approximately three hours. But the best part is that this trail actually links back up with our itinerary at stop number seven, which you'll learn more about later in the video. After riding the cable car down from Beer, you end up back here in Murren for stop number four on today's itinerary. This is your opportunity to really slow down and enjoy the village. There's so much to see and do here. In fact, as soon as you exit the lift station, you can be entertained by paragliders taking off. One of the nice things is that this is a car-free village, so you can truly walk and explore every street in town. You will see worker trucks and construction vehicles, but just the fact that there aren't tourist vehicles allowed makes this a really easy village to explore. As you wander the village, take time to enjoy the gardens, appreciate the architecture, and of course, gaze at the views. But don't just stick to the one main street running through the village. There's also an upper street and a lower street. And if you take those, you'll be sure to enjoy your own slice of Murin all to yourself. And whatever you do, don't miss visiting this stump because in our opinion, it offers one of the best picture spots in town. After you've taken your time to explore this beautiful village, pick up some picnic food at the Cope and then walk to the funicular station where you'll head to Almond Hubel. This might be one of the best picnic spots in all of the Swiss Alps because your kids can play on the playground while you admire the views and they're in front of you and beside you and behind you basically everywhere you look. 
From here, you can see, of course, the Eiger, Monk, and Jungfrau, but you can also see Eiger Gletscher Station, Wengen, Meiliken, Schienigeplatte, and the Birk Station where you were at this morning. At this point, we're about halfway through our one day itinerary in Muren. But you're probably wondering, where are these places? How do I get there? When are they open? And how much should I budget? That's why we've created this comprehensive done for you guide for your one day or weekend in Marin. That basically translates to less planning time for you and more memorable experiences on your next trip here. If you go check it out now, be sure to come back and watch the rest of this tour. But we'll tell you more about that guide later, so let's keep going for now. All right, we know your bellies are full, but it's time to hop up for one of our favorite hikes in this region, the North Face Trail. This relatively easy six and a half kilometer, two and a half hour trail winds through alpine meadows with musical cowbells and fields of wildflowers, adorable Swiss barns and chalets, and even a few mountain restaurants along the way. The signs are well marked. You're following that green one there that says North Face Trail, so you shouldn't have any problem following it. But if you do, there are always friendly people who are willing to point you in the right direction. Along the way, you'll pass a couple of places where you could buy refreshments, but when you reach Spielbodenalp, you're about two thirds of the way through your hike, making this the perfect place to stop for a cold drink, a snack, or even a bathroom break. We particularly like the cakes here, but it's a great place to stop and fill up your water bottle as well. Okay, I know this is probably gonna sound really strange, but I have to show you the bathrooms here because I'm pretty sure these toilets have the best view in the world. That stream trickling right beside you is about to pick up a ton of power. So if you have the energy when you leave Spielbodenalp, descend through the forest to the Spruz waterfall. Similar to Grausili, we don't hear many people talking about this, but it's totally worth the visit. One of the coolest things about this is that you can walk behind the waterfall. And in Swiss German, spruz means to splash. So when you walk behind there and get a little wet in the mist, it's a nice little spruz for yourself. Spruit yourself. Spruit yourself. Three words for you. Treat yourself. Spruit yourself 2022. Treat yourself 2011. The downside of visiting the spruz waterfall is that you kind of end up being stuck between Muren and Gimmelwald. Your choice at this point is to either hike steeply uphill to reconnect with the North Face Trail back to Muren, or you can hike steeply and try not to fall as you hike. Or you could continue steeply downhill to Gimmelwald. The time for each is approximately the same, but if you'd rather avoid the steep sections, you may prefer to skip the waterfall altogether. In that case, from Spielbodenalp, continue on the North Face Trail back to Murin, and then ride the cable car down to Gimmelwald, where you'll rejoin our itinerary at number 10. But we're taking you all the way downhill to Gimmelwald from here. We know it's a steep descent through the forest, but before long, the trees are gonna open up and you're going to be rewarded with one of the most beautiful views. We often like to stop at this bench to admire the views and sometimes we even take a little cat nap to give ourselves a second wind. This is a great spot to spy my favorite face in the mountain. I call him Tom because, well, he looks like the character Tom from the game Guess Who. Whenever you're refreshed and ready, head on down to the village and we'll meet you at Pench and Gimmelwald. Pench and Gimmelwald is a 19th century Alpine hotel that's hardly changed in the last 100 years. But you're not here for an overnight stay, you're here to try the famous Schwarzmonk beer. From 2018 to 2020, Schwarzmonk beer was the number one rated dark lager in the world on a beer rating app called Untapped. It's since been dethroned, but it's still cool and refreshing even on a hot summer day. In their words, tall, dark, and snow-capped. Order at the bar, but enjoy it outside at one of the tables here on the panoramic patio. And if beer's not your thing, you can come across the street to Esther's guest house and get some local ice cream instead. Then come here to the Honesty Shop, Europe's first unattended self-service village honesty shop. The way it works is that you go inside and you pick what you want and then you leave your cash in the envelope similar to the farm fridges around here. Speaking of farm fridges, bring your cash and coins to purchase local Alp cheese, sausage, butter, or even handmade crafts. If you're traveling with children or a childlike heart, pass the time while waiting for the next cable car by enjoying a ride down the slide. And when it's time, take the cable car back to Murin where you're headed for dinner. We first came to Murn in 2012 for our honeymoon, and we have been back here at least 10 times since. And Stagerschule is still one of our favorite restaurants in the whole area. Don't skip the lamb fillet with garlic mayo, our absolute favorite dish. But everything looks good, so you really can't go wrong. 
Wouldn't it be nice if you had someone to guide you through your time in Murin so you could have a stress-free trip with incredible views, sweet memories, and zero decisions? Other than what dessert to have after dinner. Our done-for-you one-day guide to Murin is like a personal tour guide in your pocket that doesn't empty your pocketbook. Click the link in the description below to start planning your trip. We can't wait to show you around Murin.